is in grave danger, so says the packaging of X-15 Alpha Mission. Let's see what it's like, shall we? By the way, this is a Ricochet release and was originally published by Activision, uh, re-released in 1988, I think. Alright, so the game's loading. It's got this Activision Presents logo on. I imagine it'll have a proper loading screen eventually. In the meantime, Let's take a look at the packaging and quite a nice picture on the front. Bit reminiscent of Top Gun, I suppose, with the plane flying into the sunset and everything. Typical ricochet packaging. And on the spine, what we come to expect now. And on the back, we've got. Some screenshots, with lots of dials, obviously it's going to be a flight simulator kind of game. And some wireframe helicopters as well, I'm not sure how they figure in the game, maybe that's stuff that you have to shoot. And description of the game there. Moving inside the packaging, it seems to say your mission twice. In fact, that's a repeated text there. How strange. The top four lines of text are then repeated immediately underneath. Bit of a cock up there on the packaging. And description of all the different instrumentation you've got, which looks very complicated and is immediately putting me off playing this game. Tells you how to take off, which is useful, and where you're going, which is into space. And we've got more instructions on the inside. Lots and lots of instructions. Lots of things to do. So the uh, instructions take up two and a half pages and then the foreign language instructions in French, German and Italian take up half a page. So I'm guessing that pretty much just says fly your aircraft and shoot stuff. Uh, and it tells you how to load the game. A little bit unfair on the non-English speakers there and the back page is completely blank so that's the packaging. In the meantime the game has loaded, there wasn't a proper loading screen, it was just that Activision Presents um, and there's a scrolly bit of landscape there in a little box in the middle of the screen uh, so let's take a look at it. Okay so here's the title screen and it's got the nice X15 logo rotating at the top and the play areas are the square in the middle surrounded by lots of dials and gauges and things so let's get the game started and you get this memo from the uh, Pentagon which tells you there's a national security emergency and uh, some reasonable music in the background although it was quite short lived um, the one thing to note on here is that when you reach the space station that you've got to infiltrate there's an access code which in, on this uh, start of the game is 12 uh, and in the instructions it tells you that you need that code for later in the game but if you didn't write it down then this serves as a form of copy protection for anyone who's got a dodgy copy of the game because only, it only tells you in the manual that you need it uh, specifically um, it did work as a kind of copy protection, although obviously you'd soon learn that you needed to write that code down for future games. Anyway, moving on. The game starts and you prepare for takeoff, and takeoff is done by aligning two little lines. The computer controls the one at the top here that goes backwards and forwards, and you have to control the one at the bottom. And I'll show you what happens first of all if you don't keep them in line. I should say that the most ridiculous thing with the two lines is that the fire button makes it move to the right and pushing down makes it move to the left which is very counterintuitive to say the least. And if you don't line them up, the engine stalls and that's basically game over. So not ideal to say the least. 
tempting as it is to just throw the game in the bin straight away because of the stupid way you have to start the game, I will try and be sensible about things. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit behind there, but hopefully that's enough to enable me to take off. Yes, it has. Okay, so... <clears throat> off we go. Now, there's another thing I want to demonstrate, if I can do, which is there's an early example in this uh, game of being able to switch the X and Y axis. At the moment, if I push up on the joystick, the crosshairs goes up, and if I push down, it goes down. But I like it the other way around. And if you press Shift Lock, then it alternates the uh, up and down Y axis so that when you push up on the joystick, the crosshairs goes down, which is the way I like to play these kind of games. So that's quite a nice little feature. So the idea of the game is to shoot the helicopters and last for a while um, until uh, it moves on to the next stage, which it will tell you when you need to do that. So you've got these missiles coming at you, you can see a blue one in the background there at the moment. So you've got to avoid them by pushing up and down, you can't avoid them by pushing left and right. And you've also got to shoot the helicopters and stuff as well. That thing there, the big blue thing at the top is a missile, which I'm trying to avoid desperately. Um, it's pretty slow moving. The wireframe enemies are still rather slow. I think I've just shot another helicopter there. Sound effects are functional, you know. There's a kind of jet plane noise going on in the background and the explosions are alright I guess. I don't know what the big UFO looking thing at the top of that keeps flying over is but you don't seem to be able to shoot it. Maybe that's the satellite thing. Right, that's what happens when you get hit by a missile which you can't shoot by the way as far as I can tell. Um, you do get several attempts once you've taken off so at least it's not totally frustrating. Okay, it says boosters engaged at the top there now. I'm actually going up to the next level and you do that by going up to the top of the screen and it moves you into the clouds. And it's more of the same except now you've got to shoot these jets that go flying past. And when you shoot them, it makes a nice noise as they go careering down to the bottom of the screen and exploding. So it, there's quite a lot of action in it, although the screen area is a bit small. Um, there's quite a lot of action shooting stuff. It's not actually really a flight simulator as such. So it's getting towards the end of the second stage, I think, because things are starting to fly straight at me now, which makes it very easy to shoot, I might add. Uh, there's not really any illusion of speed on this stage because the background is just totally grey. You're supposed to be in clouds, I think. Maybe that'll change on the next stage. So on we go, right now we're going up to the next, the third stage. I'm climbing into orbit. So I'm now in space, as you can see there's some stars to indicate that. And the things I've got to shoot now are satellites. Which look vaguely like TIE Fighters, I suppose. There is a bit of reminiscence of the Star Wars arcade game in this with the shooting the wireframe enemies. Hardly got the same speed or excitement factor as that, though. I'm into unknown territory here and I just keep getting hit by these blue things flying at me that I don't seem to be getting out of the way of be able to get out of the way of. I'm not sure if this is the space station that I'm supposed to be heading towards or if I'm supposed to be avoiding the big blue thing. I assume I'm supposed to be avoiding them. But I think I've only got one life left so I'm keeping out of the way of it. Unless it's obvious that, the, that that's what I'm supposed to be approaching. I'm out of fuel now, which probably means I'm dead. I don't know what we're supposed to do there. I think maybe 
the blue thing was the space station that I was supposed to go into. It wasn't entirely obvious, I'd have hoped it might have told me if it was the, the thing, so I don't know. It would seem when you get into the space station there's more to do, but to be perfectly honest it's a little bit dull and I can't be bothered to go much further, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, worth one ninety nine. Well, to, to be honest, I was slightly pleasantly surprised there was more to it than just a basic flight sim, and it was more exciting than I thought it was going to be. So, I'd say it's probably worth one ninety nine, and maybe a bit further investigation in the future. Uh, but that'll do for now. Right, I decided to have another go and just got hit. But um, what I hadn't noticed in the previous go is you're supposed to get from this green box here to this red box here. So. I'm now at the red box. Let's see what happens. So far, not much different to before, and I've only got one life left, so this could be short lived. Okay, here's the blue thing again. So I'm going to try avoiding the blue things again. I'm now in the red box where I'm supposed to be. So it's a case of whether the blue thing is the space station or not really. Again, not entirely obvious. Oh, there's the space station. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to fly into the middle of that then, huh? Oh, I've run out of fuel again now. How ironic is that? At least I saw it this time. Well, forget it. I'm not having another go. So close and yet so far away.